I started paragliding and flying planes too in high school. Um, I graduated high school in 2004, so it's been a while now. And in that time, I've always, I've been doing, you know, just pure paragliding. Um, more recently, meaning in the past five years or so, drone technology has, has been something that paragliding experimenters have started to use to make electric power motors. So a power motor is, you know, it's a, it's a big gas engine you put on your back with a big fan. They're really loud. Never appear, uh, appealed to me for that reason. The electric power motors that have come out or that people have built are still kind of loud, it seems to me. And um, one thing that really bugs me about the whole thing is that you have your power gliding wing, you have your wing, you have your harness. And then if you want to get into power motoring, then you have to buy all, you know, a new wing just for the power motoring because things are a little bit different and you need a, a different harness because the center of gravity is offset and, and it's rigged differently and uh, and of course the motor itself it's very expensive you know it, it's just you can't reuse any of your equipment um, what's more everyone who does it seems to just do it to motor not to you know kind of launch themselves to get to a point where you could catch natural lift and then just turn off the motor I just want to use my normal glider and just use the motor to kind of self-launch, this is a term you'd use with, um, you know, sailplanes, um, to, to, to motor up to an altitude where I might be able to catch some lift or even at the beach and, and not have to walk the mile down the beach to the to launch site and, and, and just, you know, uh, motor up high enough to catch some lift and then fly around. So it doesn't need a lot of battery life. Maybe a few minutes would, would be fine. Um, or, you know, or if you're not going to fly for lift, you just, you, know, you can still fly around for fun for five minutes, whatever. Um, but so I've been kind of pondering how to do this for a while, just in the back of my head. You know, there must be a way of making a motor that would just kind of clip on, snap on to a pre-existing glider rig, right? Um, it seems like it should be a thing. You, know, you shouldn't need to replace the whole rig. And, and it hit me. It hit me on my way home from work in my car like a few weeks ago, just very recently. And that night, I was so excited about it. That night I bought, I ordered all the parts I need I would need to do it and I thought okay this will be a weekend project sorry and the idea is um it's just a stick it's just a stick with like fans on either side look here here it is I'm uh, focus focus here we go got a propeller on this side a propeller on the other side it's buried in the grass there and in between it's just it's just a carbon fiber tube with standard drone motors and propellers on it you see, it's, it's basically a stick. It's so simple. And, and this is the battery. This is a 740 watt hour battery, I think. Uh, yeah, seven, no, it's 710 watt hours. Um, and I made this uh, nylon webbing uh, sling for it with, with these cheesy carabiners from, from the hardware store. You know, I can lift the battery and the stick in one hand, right? Look. See? And uh, so I'm calling this thing, uh, it, you know, the blimp drive, because it's kind of a fan that comes out, the propeller, propulsor that comes out either side, my left side, my right side, kind of like a blimp. Um, right, and this is how it works. I just have, here's the battery with the uh, my sling on it and the cheesy carabiners from the hardware store. And uh, one clips on here and one clips on here. And then these bracket thingies, this does not support either its own weight or, or my weight, certainly. All this does is it kind of captures the paraglider harness, the, the, the carabiners from the harness here and here and provides some uh, backing so that the thing stays tips the right way, so the propellers you know, so that the propellers are pointing forward when it's under, um, when the, the risers are under tension. We're using these funny looking brackets, which are carbon fibered right into the rest of the tube, very crudely. I've never done carbon fiber layout work before. This was kind of a, my first time trying this. These were laid over 3D printed forms, which become a permanent part of the, of, of it. You know, they stay inside. And these two, these are printed forms with 
carbon tow epoxy to it. And this is what hangs the battery, and this is just the handle to carry it around. Um, and I had these big plans for vacuum bagging it and really doing a good job. And as you can see, it looks, I mean, it's really icky looking, but it, you know, it works. It does the job. Um, wound up having to uh, abandon the vacuum bagging effort at the last, in the last moments. You know, I was doing the carbon work, and after like another 20 minutes of cursing, realizing it wasn't going to work, I just kind of wrapped the whole thing in tape as tightly as I could. It worked okay. Um, I wound up having to sand it quite a bit, grind it a bit. And then the throttle is just uh, this 3D printed handset. It's meant for my right hand, not my left hand, but then there's this thumb, uh, you know, lever uh, that's connected to a potentiometer and a torsion spring. It's a little Arduino micro in here that wraps around my hand. And that's, that's it. It's a simple thing. Um, it's simple, right? I mean, it's almost, except for the custom carbon work I did, you know, I, it, it's almost just all off-the-shelf parts. It's the tube, it's the motors, it's the hand controller. Well, the hand controller I made, but it could be off-the-shelf. Uh, these are carbon fiber propellers, like I said. Um, just you bolt it on with these are, these are CFPETG 3D printed thimbles and it's aluminum bracket. Um, same for, same kind of thing for the, uh, the speed controller. Eventually I'll use my own um, Year Zero 2 motor controller to, uh, to do something better. And it's easily transported, it fits on fits on the roof of my uh, car, on my roof rack, really quite easily. And I can just kind of carry it out to the flying site and hook everything up and motor off the ground and maybe it could catch lift. I don't have any plans whatsoever to uh, sell this or produce it. It's all, I have uh, way too much on my plate, but um, certainly something people could build. Uh, it's something that, you know, if you know, you know, just from looking at this video, really, if you could understand what you have to put together to make it work, you probably qualify to do it, at least from the engineering perspective and then from the flying it perspective. Um, well, that's up to you. Um, but another nice thing about this is because it's two counter-rotating propellers like this, uh, you don't have the torque and P-factor issues that you would have with a conventional single propeller paramotor. Um, which makes it, in, you know, to me, more uh, friendly to attaching to a gliding power glider as opposed to a motoring power glider. Um, what else? Uh, it, it occurs to me that probably, probably this will get in the way of a reserve chute if you have to throw your reserve, so I have to think through that a bit more. I have plans in the future for something uh, much more elaborate than this, which would be even quieter. Oh, that's the other thing. That's the other thing. This. This is also surprisingly quiet. Well, I expect it to be quiet. The reason this is quiet is because it displaces the motors pretty far from your ears, as opposed to when right on your, it's right on your back. Uh, and also it's electric, but the prop noise is quite low. It's quiet enough when I'm flying it that I, I you know, wouldn't even ever consider wanting ear protection. It's just, it's, you know, it's not silent, but it's totally comfortable and I do not, I do not like noise. So I'm, I'm picky about this kind of thing. One of the reasons I've never ventured into conventional power motoring. Um, okay, so that's. I hope you. Uh, I hope this was interesting.